Hey guys, welcome back. So this is my latest purchase. It's a HP pre-built and um, I think the model number is TCP F123 MT or something like that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the reason why I bought this is because I wanted the 1650, um, which probably like a good solid 75 watt without needing a connector so i found this on the facebook market and i thought i'd just buy the whole machine um i didn't get it for that much it was a decent price i got it for about 170 pounds and um it's a good all-rounder um so what i'll do is i'll open it up and we'll see what we have inside all right so this is what it looks like inside before i describe what the comment components are um this was absolutely filthy i bought it from a smoker and it was covered in tobacco and dust and had to give it a good clean cleaned all the fans opened up the graphics card done all the repasting everything so it's still a little bit dirty but it was much better than before and it doesn't smell as much if you bought a a, a pre-built or gaming machine from someone before that smoked you can, you can understand what kind of smell i'm talking about but anyway the um cpu we have a 10 400 f which is a six core 12 thread so this is like a decent budget um good foundation for gaming six six cores is what you should usually look for and it's paired with a 1650 um it's a generic one um and the psu is 310 watts we've got a hard drive terabyte and we've got a MV nvme um slot in the um on the motherboard and it's occupied with the m.2 i think it's 256 gigabytes um and the good thing about this is it also has this eight pin connector i'm not sure if you can see it so if i did want to upgrade that to another um graphics card i can do that and it's quite a lot of space in there so i can uh put that in there and we've got 16 gigabytes of ram so it's like this is my latest purchase and it's a decent better than all my other builds that i've done so far and um yeah i'm pretty happy with that so what i'm going to do is uh turn on Red Dead Redemption 2 and see what kind of uh, FPS we get. Right guys, so we're in Red Dead Redemption 2 in benchmark mode and I've got it set to 1080p low. I've got FSR 2 enabled and it's set to performance. And at the moment we're getting around just under 90 FPS, which is pretty decent, very playable. And let's have a look at that RAM. So in my other machines, I've always used a single eight stick uh, RAM um, purely because that's all it came with and I didn't want to upgrade it because it's meant to be for budget gaming and I don't want to upgrade stuff and start spending money um, so this came with 16 gigs so as you can see it is utilizing more than um, 8 gigs so yeah you should really be using 16 gigs and newer games that come now you should really be using 32 gigs because I've seen some games using way more than 16 gigs these days but anyway memory wise it's just under 4 gigs so it might be restricted in that sense, the VRAM. So 4 gigs in 2023 might not be enough these days. Should really be going for 8 gigabytes minimum. And if you're, you know, playing in 1440p, in, using ray tracing and stuff, so you'll need more than 8 gigs these days. 8 gigs is not enough. But anyway, um, it's performing pretty decent. We're getting, you know, around 80s and GPU temps around 75 degrees. In these pre-built, there's not enough airflow, I still think. Um, it doesn't have front uh, fans, I don't think. Um, it's just got the exhaust fan. So that's one thing to be aware of, um, these kind of small pre-builds. Um, airflow won't be great, so temperatures will be a little bit higher. But CPU-wise, it's um, utilizing less than, you know, it's around 36% at the moment, which is pretty decent. So these six cores is um what you need these days four cores is you know you're pushing it with four cores these days so yeah the 1650 on low 1080p is still doing pretty decent on red dead redemption 2 um but with newer games it probably struggle probably start buying new games like hogwarts legacy um and all those other new ports like walking is it Walking Dead or whatever it's called, I can't remember. But yeah, I'll try to get the, the, those games and see what kind of uh, performance we get with 1650. But minimum FPS, we've got 30, maximum 145, and average around just under 80 FPS. So yeah, that's my video there. I'll end it there. If you guys have any questions, write them down below. If you haven't subscribed, then it will be very helpful if you did. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.